Hey. Hi. I haven't seen you around before. No, I don't know everyone, but I do usually know the stragglers, and I haven't seen you wandering the halls before. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm convinced I live life five minutes behind. <laughs> Hmm, you're right. Not a very desirable quality, but I make up for it in other ways. No, not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, so are you looking for the office? Or do you already have your schedule? What makes me think you're new? Well, starting with the very confused look in your eye. And, you know, most kids are gonna skip by now and you don't really look like you're skipping. So, next thing to assume is that you're new. So, office or classroom? office it is. I can direct you. This way, please. So, where do new kids come from these days? Ew! <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Where do you come from? Hmm, I see. So, do you know anybody here since before you've transferred, or is this just a totally fresh start? Yeah, fresh start. It could totally be a fresh start. Well, I mean... If you looked me dead in the eyes right now and told me that you used to be a farmer or a sheep herder or a race car driver or something, I would have no choice but to believe you. And then you could 100% fake a personality you like until it eventually just becomes natural. And boom. Fresh start. Hmm. You know, I think most of my personalities come from fictitious people, but essentially the same thing, yes. Uh, it's not fake if it becomes who you are eventually. Yes, it is interesting, but it got me through life, so it works for me. You could totally reinvent yourself if you wanted to. Mm hmm Well, here we are. I should get to class, but if you need someone to sit with at lunch, I sit in the cafeteria, so feel free to find me. And to introduce me to your new reinvented self. I'll see you later. Maybe. Oh yeah, no. I heard about that and it was just so crazy. I was like, why would you even think that? Oh, hey. How was the start of your day? I see. Well, come, take a seat. Here, I'll scoot so you can sit next to me. These are my friends, but I doubt they're going to be a good conversation, so just ignore. <laughs> what classes do you have? I see. 
Not a bad schedule. No, she's a good teacher. She was probably just cranky. She gets like that when her toddler doesn't sleep the night before. Yeah, she was my journalism teacher for years. I remember when she was pregnant, no one thought she was pregnant. She just came back one day looking completely different, and then she explained that she was pregnant, and we were all like, shook. <laughs> But she's really amazing. Just give her another chance. She won't let you down. Me? What about me? Well, I'm the oldest. I'm on the honor roll. I help on the student council. I volunteer with children on the weekends, and I like to read. There you go. That's me. Well, that's the most pertinent information about me. Okay, what's deep enough for you? Why? Well, I couldn't control being the oldest. I like being the smartest person in the room, hence the honor roll. At least I try to be. Uh, I do student council because I like to help. The kids are the absolute cutest, and I don't think I could ever stop hanging out with them. And who doesn't like reading? That wasn't very helpful. Well, you know, I'm sorry. I don't recall knowing much about you, either. Mm -hmm. And this is the part where you share a bit about yourself. This, right here, it's a two-way street. That means if I'm gonna share myself with you, then you need to share yourself with me, too. Them? <laughs> what about them? Please, no one over there is listening to us. They would be if we were stuck up snobby and bragging about whatever fancy stuff our families own. But I don't talk about all that, mainly because I don't have it. And secondly, it usually leads to a very boring conversation. So feel free to talk about anything you want. It's really hard to catch any of their attention unless you are a mirror or you have one strapped to your forehead, so. Okay, what's your question? How'd I end up with friends like that? <sighs> Since you're new, you haven't had time to experience the very colorful spectrum of people here. You have A, sitting here, the stuck-up snobs, B, over there, straight-up bullies, and C, all the way over there, self-centered athletes. And no, that's not just the stereotype talking either, I promise. I know all of them through student council, and they're all a copy and paste of one another. So, the people pool here is small. I take what I can get. And these just happen to be the lesser of all evils. Besides, I'm not very athletic. I work better inside a classroom than outside of it. So, it was kind of a no-brainer between the bullies and the snobs. Hmm? Hey, 